Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create call out titles in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. In previous tutorial, we have seen, how to track call out titles in motion videos, if haven't seen the video then the link is provided in the description, and in this video, we are going to see, how to create a simple call out title in After Effects. Here I have already imported an image to use in this demonstration tutorial. So without any wait let's start creating call out title. First let's create a new composition. Name it as call out title. As usual width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels, frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. And let's set the time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add media file to the timeline. Let's scale it. Perfect. So here we will be tracking this lamp. So let's create our title composition. Create a new composition. Let's name it as title. Here we need to unlock the aspect ratio. Now change the width to 400. Change the height to 200. Remaining everything will be same. Perfect. Here we will add our text. Let's start with adding our first text. Here we are going to track the table lamp. Let's align it to center. Maybe let's change the font style. Here we will go with Biba's new font family. Perfect. Let's align it. Now let's pre-compose our text. Named the composition as, text1. Now let's scale our text. Press S to bring up scale. Add 1 second and 10 frames, create a keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline, Change scale value to 150%. You can see the preview. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now make sure you have not selected text composition. Now select Rectangle Tool. Make sure Fill is set to Solid Color. Now change the stroke to None. Now we need to create shape hiding the text composition. Perfect. Now at 1 second. Now in Rectangle 1, in Rectangle Shape 1, unlink Scales value. Now create a keyframe for size. Now at start of the timeline, change size value to zero. You can see the preview. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now for text composition, change track mat to alpha mate shape layer one. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create another shape layer. Make sure you have not selected any of the layers. Now for fill. Change it to none. Now change the stroke to, solid color. Let's set stroke width to 3 pixels. 
Now create shape as shown. Perfect. For shape layer 2. From add select trim path. At 1 second and 10 frames. In trim paths 1. Create keyframe for end. Now at start of the timeline. Change end value to 0. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for offset. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Change offset value to 300 degrees. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now make sure you have not selected any of the layers. Now change fill to solid color. Here you can set any color for your solid layer. Let's change stroke to none. Now create shape layer covering the text as shown. Perfect. Now at 1 second. For rectangle 1. In rectangle path 1. Unlink the size. Now create a keyframe for size. Now at start of the timeline. Change size to 0. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now you can see the preview. Now press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate of shape layer 3. Now position the shape layer at 20 frames. Now for shape layer 3, change track mat to alpha inverted mat shape layer 4. This will create an opening effect for our text. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for shape layer 4. Let's increase the scale value. Press S to bring up scale. Now change scale value to 102%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now, make sure you have not selected any of the layer. Now change fill to none. Change stroke to solid color. Now create shape as shown. Perfect. Let's change stroke width to 2 pixels. Now for shape layer 5, let's add trim paths. Now in trim paths. At 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for start. Change start value to 100%. Now create a keyframe for end. Now at 20 frames. Change end value to 0. Now at 15 frames. Change start value to 0. You can see the preview. Let's set offset value to 50 degree. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 5. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now for shape layer 6. Change offset value to 250. Or to match the shape layer 5. You can set it to 230 degree. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add another text. Here we will add the price tag. Let's position it at center.
Perfect. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text2. Now for text2 composition, press P to bring up the position. Add 2 second. Create a keyframe for position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames, change position value for Y axis as shown. You can see the preview. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now make sure you have not selected any layers. Now select rectangle tool. Now set stroke to none. Now create shape layer hiding the text to composition. Perfect. Now for text to composition. Change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 7. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now in call out title composition. Now in this composition, we will create our target shapes. Now select ellipse tool. Now let's change fill color to white. Press shift while creating. To create a perfect circle shape layer. Now for shape layer 1, we need to position anchor point to center. Now press Y and select anchor point, now position it to the center. Perfect. Now at 5 frames. For shape layer 1, press S to bring up the scale. Now create a keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timer line, change scale value to 0. You can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now for shape layer 2. Let's change fill to none. Now change stroke to solid color. Press S to bring up scales. Let's increase the scale value. Perfect. Let's position it at 3 frames. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select both shape layer. Now position it wherever you want. I will place it here. Here we will place our call out title. Now select the pen tool. Now create a line as shown. Let's increase the stroke width to 3 pixels. Now for shape layer 3, let's add trim paths. Now at 7 frames. Create keyframe for end. Change end keyframe value to 0. Now at 15 frames. Let's change end value to 100%. You can see the preview. If you want to delay the line animation, then you can adjust the end keyframe. Perfect. Now let's add the title composition to timeline. Now we will position the title near the line. Perfect. Now you can see the preview. Now we will position the title layer at 20 frames. Let's see the preview. 
Perfect. Here our call out title animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.